Welcome to The Joyful Sound. This is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and we are live on a Friday afternoon. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to uh, see everybody today. Now this is, okay, it's almost like the Jedi mind trick. So this is, this might not be the piano that you are thinking that you're looking for. It's um, so good to see you. Yeah, no, no felt pianos, man. It's just, uh, it's all gonna be good today. <laughs> I'm just uh, checking out some of the chat. Um, Dan and Ohm and MBC, it's so good to see it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to go into a paint store, and we're going to have like a really interesting discussion on um, on sample libraries in general, uh, which is going to be fun. But you know, just got a lot of, um, just you know, we we're going to take a look at the originals, uh, intimate grand piano, a little later. But I want to go ahead and just. Um, take us through some um, sounds from piano book and sounds from sound paint. So, you know, just to kind of uh, get us in the, in the mood a little bit, uh, one, of the, one of the funny things is realizing that uh, you don't have to go on a trip that you thought you were gonna have to go on. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we're gonna be ready here. Okay, so actually what I'm playing right now is the, uh, is a, is the piano book um, gentle grand from Dan Keen, and that uh, that's kind of an interesting uh, story. Someone uh, had left a comment on an earlier uh, piano book, uh, what I call the piano book nook, and so they um, they left a, a message saying, "Would you look at some of the um, you know libraries on piano book from Dan Keen?" And I'm gonna. Yeah, just kind of make a little adjustment there so I can make sure I can see I can see everybody really good. So um, yeah, so this is the General Grand, and this is a Yamaha S6 Grand, and it's sort of um, you know just like kind of like the gen, uh, the Gentle or the Intimate Grand piano, but it's um, it's a little bit different. Uh, not a lot of velocity layers, and that's the thing with uh, with these pianos. There, there are not a lot of velocity layers involved. Um, you've got a single pair of ribbon microphones here, uh, just two dynamic layers, and three round robins and that kind of thing. So let's just kind of jump in and and take a look at the uh, gentle piano first, and um, we can kind of just kind of get an idea. This is a free. Um, this is a free piano fork, the full version of Contact. So you've got to have the full version of Contact to use this piano. But it's it's just very, you know, just that very soft, you know, sound. And then we've got a pad that we can just kind of put on underneath that. tell it's just very gentle, very nice, and <laughs> very smooth. And the, the pad, the pad here makes it really nice. And you can adjust that. It's just like a harmonic layer on the piano and you can have the envelopes for that. Get a little filter. And you listen to that pad underneath. It's kind of like what they call like an afterglow effect, that type of thing. Yeah, you hear that? It's really nice. So for a free, nice, soft piano, 
that is, um, that's really a really nice one to have if you've got the full version of Contact. And the other, um, the other instrument that we're gonna take a look at from Dan Keene is his um, NFO, the, uh, the orchestra. And let's just see if we can pull that up and get some, just take a look at this. The Northern Film Orchestra, he recorded um, like a lot of different swells and that type of thing. And it's really kind of a, it's really, it really sounds good as we're gonna find out. Uh, we've got different sections. Uh, they've got the brass and strings and winds, and they're all uh, just recorded so beautifully. And let's take a listen. Um, I've got the, um, the strings loaded up and I've got my snapshots here. So this is the cello swells. And let's take a listen. These are great for like underscoring. I think it's a 40 player orchestra. cellos. So let's um, go to the violas. I like it that he's got the strings kind of in the different, uh, different sections for us here. I'm trying to play down here, but it... we've got control over dynamics, the dynamic layers. Just some really nice, rich orchestral textures. All right. And the violins. <laughs> so you had different dynamic layers. The thing about this is that they're that they're moving. Um, they're the, they're you know they're playing, but they're kind of just swelling and just so so it moves. It's just a nice. A little dry, not a lot of. Really nice. Really nice. It's very, um, you know, yeah, BF, I agree. It's very simple, but it's, um, it's just nice. And it's very effective because you're just getting those um, live performances. So let's just uh, check out the brass. And I like this. Um, so you can see that he's got the different, um, you know, different horn sections. You can adjust the, the volumes in the mix. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Not a not a real hard attack because they're going for that swell and more undertone. The undertone. Let's see about the soft dynamics. Yeah, let's see that. And the trumpets, let's turn those up a little bit.
So just nice and rich, nice and rich there. And lastly for this is that we have the winds, the wind section. And same thing here, we've got the different sections kind of um, split out for us so we can mix those. That's kind of neat. You got a little movement when, like, like, yeah. So when it gets to the top of the swell, it kind of does a little wobble there. That's really nice. That's got a nice space to it. Listen to how the... Um... I like the, um, the space. It's just got a nice room sound to it, a nice ambience to it. So um, yeah, so that's the Gentle, Gentle Grand and the NFO Film Orchestra swells from Dan Keen. And this is um, another one that had been requested is the Woodland piano. And this is kind of an interesting piano. Uh, you've got like four different layers. You've got all these different layers of pianos here and you can kind of blend them in. It took me a little while to understand what the, uh, these, um, these were for. And it's, they're like mixer faders. So the norm, you can go and load all of these up and um, you've got normal, felted, uh, the release samples, the pedal noises, and muted and plucked. So I've just got the normal, and they look like leaves to me. <laughs> so, and you've got different uh, microphones. Yeah, let's just look and see. I always like to look at the, um, the background of some of these. So the woodland piano, okay. So uh, let's see what kind of piano it is. Uh, okay, yeah, it's uh, multiple articulations. It's a Yamaha upright, uh, recorded at 96K, 24-bit, uh, using a couple Neumann microphones over the hammers and in a wide AB and some Sheps and some 414s and got some release triggers and different articulations on there. So um, always... Um, Always check the links in the description because uh, it'll always give you some more. Yeah, they did, did a good job with the GUI. Took me a little while just to kind of figure it out, but uh, we're here. And let's, uh, let's just go into the woods just for a little bit. And I've got all the mics turned up. And then we can blend these together just to kind of get a nice sound. And you've got the stereo width control that you can just bring it in all the way or spread them out a little bit. And now I'm in E flat today. Now let's bring up the felt layer. And the release samples. Yeah, this is felted. We've not gotten into the anti-felts yet. Um, the, and uh, hey, Emmanuel, good to see you. Yeah, this is, sounds, this is a fun, um, this is a fun instrument, especially with all the different layers. Um, and let's just turn the muted up 
and just listen to that by itself. That's kind of quirky. And the thing about that is you can layer it in with the normal and just have a little extra bump of attack. And then of course we've got the plucked. I like the plucked in a way because mixed with the normal. Let's do it by itself. So that so that's got a really neat characteristic. And let's blend it with the normal. Yeah, I like that. It almost kind of sounds like a clavichord when you have that plucked element into it. Yeah, so this is free. This is a free piano for Contact, the full version of Contact. So uh, check that out. Okay, yeah, just a couple more for from uh, Piano Book. Uh, one more from Piano Book, and that is the um, uh, the <laughs> Volitions from uh, Venus Theory. I really enjoy. I've been enjoying watching um, uh, watching Venus Theory on how he approaches putting his instruments together. He's really into sound design and synthesis and that type of thing. And then you pair that um, with, um, with, you know, with all of that, you take, like he takes, takes this viola and just goes through all these different processes and you can watch the uh, full video there. It's just really interesting. Um, so let's just take a quick look at Volitions. It comes uh, in as a free library that has um, several presets and then you can, um, if you want more, then there is a premium version available for that. So this is Volitions. And here we go. Just really cool. And the, and is, the GUI is really cool. Looks like the tone is mapped to the uh, mod wheel. <laughs> That's right, Eric. He doesn't know how to play the. This is gorgeous. I mean. Viola. This is the viola. Um, this is, a, yeah. That's just gorgeous. Listen to that. Listen to that low end there. And you hear all the grit and stuff going on with that. Um, wow. Let's listen to, um, let's just pull up another one uh, of those patches here. And then when you load it up, you're, this is how many we've got, uh, like six patches here. And, um, that's the Art Arctique was the first one that we had. Now this is the, like a second layer. So you've got some plucks and uh, bowed and different things kind of mixed in. And let's do it with a tone. Let's open that up.
all of the movement and all of the different things going on inside of this, that's what makes it so fun. The, the low end, yeah, uh, yeah, Walt, the low end is just like, just so fat. Okay, and you know what I like to do? Um, let's, uh, let's just link it with this, um, with the woodland piano. So I've got both of these up here now. This is just a quick way to, uh, yeah, let's link it. Yeah, let's echo the um, MIDI out. Here we go. There we go. so cool to layer it because you've got all of that fantastic low end stuff and all the uh, animations going on with the volitions. Yeah. And when you push the tone up, it brings in those, uh, all the plucked and all the additional uh, things going on. That's amazing. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, yeah, make sure, um, make sure you check out, um, make sure you check out Volitions uh, and keep all the piano book stuff. The piano book stuff is just, uh, it's just so amazing. Uh, and, and to be free and the community is just such a, a really wonderful community and it's just getting bigger and providing us with so many fun things. Um, okay. So where do we want to go to next? Um, let's just, uh, you know, I want to spend some time on uh, Intimate Grand. So that's why I like to hit on a couple of, um, I like to hit a couple of things um, ahead of time. That way we can make sure we have lots of time near the end to uh, focus on on the main, the main event. And you notice that it, uh, happy Star Wars Day to everybody, uh, May the 4th. And so um, I got my uh, Lego uh, Death Star trash compactor kit. I, I still got to put together the snow speeder and all this other stuff. But uh, that is so fun because, uh, yeah, so that's something that I'm going to be working on and maybe scoring, uh, maybe having some fun making some music to that. But what I thought we would do, uh, we would go to uh, Sound Paint Corner just quickly. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's right. So let me let me show you. Uh, BF uh, BF makes a great uh, great suggestion. If you've got if you've got a decent sampler, you all you have to do, and that's one of the things that I really like about the platform, is that um, let's see, we can go to browse, and you can go to the sample store. Okay, let's see. You mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, I don't know. It's not it's not doing it here. Um, but, uh, I don't know why I don't have that. Um, yeah, normally you'll, you'll open decent sampler up. Let me, uh, and you can browse the store here. It might have something to do with, um, maybe a firewall connection or something, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you should be able to pull up decent sampler. Let me see if I can just pull it up in the stand alone and, uh, we can see what, uh, what that looks like. Yeah. So here's the standalone of decent sampler and let's go browse. Yeah, so that's what it would look like. And you can sort by 
uh, newest releases or alphabetically, and you can just go straight to uh, Volitions and download it directly uh, from the Decent Sampler interface. And I think that makes it really nice and convenient. Okay, so... Um, no, you know, I can, I can, I can deal with Star Trek too. Uh, you know, Star Trek is kind of cool. Uh, you know, I, I can, I can be a Trekkie and I know it sounds sacrilegious, but I, I enjoy, I enjoy both of them. Um, I love seeing the, uh, I love seeing the Star Trek movies in the theater. They're actually releasing the first uh, Star Trek movie, um, I guess a reissue of it in the theaters uh, soon. And then The Wrath of Khan uh, is going to be in theaters in September. I love, I love experiencing those classic films that way. Uh, so um, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's just jump into Sound Paint real quick because uh, they, they have really been releasing a lot of fun things. Ukulele is their latest, and we'll, we're going to take a quick look at that. Um, but I've just sort of uh, fallen in love with the Terz, the Terz guitar, um, and it's just so cool. And then the Zither, Zither and guitar. And um, so we're just gonna take a look, and we're gonna take a look at the ukuleles uh, real quick while we're at it, because there are just so, so many things going on um, with that. Okay, so let's go to the, um, the Terra's guitar, and I've got uh, I've got a couple of favorites here, so let's take a listen. It just takes you right in. And they've got some really cool uh, patches. This is uh, Nebula. So they'll, they've got these uh, filters and different things going on. So they take something really really simple and pure, and then they process. You've got to go through all kinds of delays and uh, distortions. Suitcase, um, the suitcase roads in this patch too, and you're morphing between these. Yeah, just beautiful sounds. This is the um, palm solo. Uh, palm solo. <laughs>
has such character to it, you know. It just has such a character to it. I love it. Um, so this is like um, some palm. They're using the arpeggiator with that. It's a Martin, it's a Martin Tears guitar, which makes. And they just got some harmonic things going on with that. Um, okay, so this one, um, this one is the Martin guitar with the zither kind of uh, put together. Yeah, that's kind of. The uh, zither just kind of gives it a little. Yeah, so just really nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna get there, Kisam. We just took a little, taking a little detour before we get to the main event. So that, yeah, the Terz guitar is just so beautiful. And, um, and then their latest, the ukulele, are really beautiful here. Let's see what we can find here. This is just the main. This is a ukulele, but it just sounds so gorgeous. And of course, you've got uh, different effects going on. Uh, the delays and the arpeggiators, just gorgeous. Now this is the, um, the main soul. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, that's a lot of fun. So this is old days. Um. Now, to me, this kind of sounds like a sounded like a dobro when I first pulled it up. Yeah, we can turn this to lay down some more. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I think they really are doing a great job uh, with their, with these guitars. And, you know, and another big uh, fan, I'm a big fan of the Nicholas Bras uh, instruments as well. Just uh, really, really fun, really beautiful. Okay, so make sure you check out that, uh, the link to Sound Pain in the description. Okay, so this is, um, I just uh, I just pulled this down today, so I'm just learning how to um, just kind of getting around this. But this is the latest um, originals from Spitfire, and you know 
we knew we knew they would have to come up with a grand uh, eventually, and this is not your typical grand, but it's um, you know, and it's it's unusual because we've got, you know, we've we had um, I guess Heaviosity come out with their Foundations piano, and then VSL with their Soft Imperial, so it's really unusual that how you've got all of these companies all of a sudden we are we're looking at these soft grand pianos. And uh, thank you, Can't Imagine, for subscribing. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so it's like we've had all of these felted uprights, and now uh, it's a new trend. It's soft, it's soft grand pianos. And the soft imperial was really a surprise because we had this humongous Bosendorfer, and, but at its very softest dynamic. And now with the originals piano here, the intimate grand, we have a Steinway concert grand, and it is, um, let's just tap into this um, and um, learn a little bit more about this. Um, I really was surprised when I first saw some of the pictures. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I know we've got, we've got some pictures of here. <coughs> but um, yeah, so the, the microphones, they've got the ribbons and the condensers, plus the binaural. And that's um, and then the lid is off of the piano, so it's just it's just catching that. When I first saw the mic's position like this over the lid, it was like, how are they doing that? Because they had like a little teaser picture. Uh, normally, you'd have the mics like this, but since they had the ribbons on one side and the condensers this way with the lid off, then that makes um, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and then the binaural is an interesting thing. And again. You know, most, we're talking about velocity layers a lot. So this one just doesn't have that many. I think it's three velocity layers and and the softest ones at that. And they've got, you know, several round robins. And when you look at all the other Spitfire original pianos there, I think the um, Mrs. Mills, I think it has like eight dynamic layers. So um, they're not real big on, on giving us a lot of velocity layers, but if... Um, I mean, if it sounds good, if it plays good, it's um, you know, it's what it it's what fits your, you know, what sounds good. Okay, I'm going to just um, I'm going to open this up again, and just start at the top. Really, this is all the presets that you have. You've got um, you've got seven, uh, seven of these all together, and so let's just go to direct. Now this is just using the condenser microphones and you know what, we're just gonna just take our time with this. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. So with those condensers, you get that real close. And then the condensers also accentuate the, the bite of the strings that are not felted. So you get all of the overtones happening with those.
Now let's go to intimate. And what I want to do, let's just turn off the condenser so we can just hear these beautiful ribbons. And when I when I see a pair of coals, those those you know, you can't you can't miss that that look. Um, let's see. And I want to turn I'm going to turn the hammers and stuff down just a little bit so we can just hear Something about the ribbon microphones, it just gives it a velvety, silky sound. Okay, let's, uh, man, let's get into another key. Let's see. Yeah, listen to that. Ribbons kind of darken the sound a little bit. And they've adjusted the tightness here. It's going into the sample a little bit, and I think it's shaving off a little bit um, of, the, of the attack. I'm gonna take the tightness all the way down so we can get the full, uh, full sample. Tight, with the tightness all the way down, you get that full attack of the hammer going and hitting the string. Something about a grand also is the space is you feel a, just a larger space with it. Um, and it's... Um... Yeah. And it puts you in a different... Um, puts you in a different headspace as well. It is a lot clearer. Yeah, Chris, yeah. Because there's nothing covering, <laughs> there's nothing covering the sound. It's a little crisper, a little nice, but the mics just add just that beautiful texture.
you see when I get that look in my eye, it's like, he's gone, he's gone. play this a lot before I went live. I just wanted, I love just letting it happen uh, while we're together. And um, so Eric, you know, I didn't, I, I rarely ever touch the velocity uh, curve on the keyboard itself. Um, and the thing about the SL88 is that it's so soft. It's just got such a soft, but wide dynamic range but typically it just plays really soft. Sometimes I do have to bump up the velocity scaling on some pianos, uh, but um, since this is a soft, um, I just kind of left it alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's just, yeah, you know, you know, I can't help it. I can't, don't shoot the messenger. Um, it's, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, like, like I said, you see, you see this. You, oh, there it is. You know, and you just don't want to. You don't want to breathe. Uh, you don't want to breathe. But, uh, but you got to breathe. And speaking of breathing, you got to drink too. So you can't, you can't live without air, and you can't live without water. Uh, so let's just, uh, just take a quick break and uh, just cheers. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. You are such amazing uh, viewers and. Um, I'm, I just love being here and with all of you. It's just such a joy. Uh, it's like I could sit here and play this piano myself, but it, it, but it, it somehow it just doesn't mean as much as it does when I can share it with all of you. Uh, that's uh, wonderful. Mm. So, uh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, breathe and drink, not a, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but your ribbons, man. Ribbons, ribbons, ribbons. I love, I love ribbons. Ribbons, ribbons, ribbons. I, you know, I'm getting waxing poetic here. But, um, okay, subdued. Okay, so let's go to soft drama. Oh, well, before we do that, let's, um, let's just go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm just going to go turn the direct on. And let's just listen to the binaural, um, the binaural signal. And and if you're listening with headphones, this is going to um, this is going to be interesting because it's right at the perspective of the uh, of the player here. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. And and you guys, you know, shoot me a key uh, or uh, or a hymn or a song. You know, that's always kind of fun. Um, because I sometimes I find myself, oh, okay, here, yeah, here we go, here we go. Make sure you've got your headphones on. And I'm gonna just turn the tightness. Um, I'm gonna turn the tightness up and I wanna, okay, and this dynamic slider, if you've got it all the way down, it's gonna take you through the whole dynamic range. If you push it all the way up, you're only gonna hear the hardest velocity layers. So here we go. Now this is the binaural. So this is going to actually sit you behind the piano uh, here. Um, here we go. Okay, G sharp minor, or let's see. Oh man. Mm. Now this is the binaural direct.
Isn't that cool? And it's like you're sitting right there behind the keys. <laughs> I don't know what I... Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's really nice. Beautiful. Okay, so let's um, <clears throat> let's go to uh, one of the blends. Let's go to um, let's go to subdued. See what we've got there. Okay, we've got the ribbons and the um, and the condensers a little bit. I'm going to crank the reverb up a little bit here and then So with this uh, patch, the intimate, uh, the subdued, having that ribbon, you've got the warmth and adding that condenser just kind of pulls a little bit of the brightness back into it. Yeah. Thanks, Alex, for subscribing. get into the more, uh, the thicker dynamic ones, um, we can just push that, uh, that slider up a little bit.
<laughs> hey, Charles. Yeah, you know, if you pick it up, tell them, uh, drop Spitfire a note, say Simeon sent you, you know. <laughs> you know what, Wolfgang? Uh, that is, yeah, okay. It's been raining cats and dogs um, last night and today. Let's uh, pull up, um, let's pull up Reverberant Ribbons. And so now this one, Reverberant Ribbons, say that a couple of times fast, Reverberant Ribbons. <laughs> Moses supposes his toeses are roses. Uh, so we've got the ribbon microphones and the binaural turned on here and hammers and pedal. You know, I, I always find myself turning those down just a little bit anyway. So, um, oh, you know what, um, Wolfgang, so you know that um, the Wizard of Oz is getting ready to celebrate their 100th anniversary. Uh, I, I, that's just so hard for me to believe. Um, uh, that is so hard for me to believe. Um, wow, yeah. bright dynamics when you want them and wow <laughs> 
So that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. <clears throat> yeah, I just like that's it. Yeah. So that's the thing about this uh, is just that that soft. You know, it just lays it in there. And having that binaural set, you know, it just really immerses you into the uh, piano. So let's just sit there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. So we go from, um, we go over the rainbow to Brazil. Um, I love it. Uh, mm. I love it. So um, that is so cool. <clears throat> okay, so you know we've got to go, um, let me see what I've got got over here in Unify, uh, because this is, um, you know, you guys know that uh, that's where I love, I love to go and see what happens here when we can when we can load up some things inside of Unify, because, uh, you know, two are better than one. And so I've got originals uh, here. I've got the cello swells uh, from uh, Dan Keen and the NFO Film Orchestra. Let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, so I've got the intimate uh, here. And then we've got the uh, decent sampler volitions in here as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Dan, it's, it's crazy. And the, uh, one of the cool things, uh, before, before I forget, is that um, this piano was recorded in Castle Sound Studios, and that is the same place they recorded uh, Albion Solstice. So it has that same uh, room signature uh, to it. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so that's that's kind of an interesting uh, interesting Easter egg. So let's just hear what what I've got. Let's hear what I've got going on here. So ah, uh, okay, let me see. 
Yes, yes, yes. Where are we here? Let's see. Do I got levels turned up here? Oh, yeah. Listen to that. So there, there is the... Uh, I'm going to make sure I've got... That's the only thing that we've got going on here. There we go. And then Unify lets us blend these all together. Hear those cello swells in there. Those cello swells are nice. of those different textures coming in and out uh, underneath the, the piano. So you've got the piano going and then the cellos kind of swell up underneath and then the Volitions is just doing some other crazy stuff underneath. Yeah, just that real rich low end pad there with the Volitions and then 
you have the movement of the cellos going on and then the piano it's just like it, it it's it's just like taking all of these ingredients and just making these beautiful sonic dishes um it's just beautiful That's just so much fun. And just listen to that. It's beautiful. Better together. We're always better together. And listen to that. It's just so beautiful. And that's one of the reasons why I love Unify. You're able just to kind of pull some beautiful things together rather quickly. And I just uh, named this uh, intimate, intimate glory because it's intimate, but then it's got some really powerful uh, things going on as well. So, man, lots of fun. Well, where do you guys want to go to now? <laughs> it's just so much fun, and you get uh, you get lost in these things. So this is the reverberant the reverberant ribbons again, um, and let's go to uh, let's go to ambient, and this is binaural with the reverb cranked up quite a bit, and uh, let's just uh, kind of play and see what happens. Oh. I know just enough classical music to get me into trouble. <laughs> That key of D, uh, just you hear that signature sound. So, um, you know, Eric, uh, Unify does so much. It's great for layering instruments. It, uh, you know, you've got a lot of performance things. You can split uh, process effects uh, in these, in the racks, uh, you know, create 
create your own types of patches and sounds inside of it. Um, it's really an interesting platform. Uh, and John and Shane are, are always working to improve it. Yeah, so the, you know, having that binaural sound is just really amazing and then blended with these other microphones as well. So dynamic, and yeah, of course, I knew they were gonna throw those condenser mics way up there. I see. Now this time I am gonna bump the dynamic, um, dynamic up a little bit. See, that's... Yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, apologies today, Brubeck, but that... It's just the sound of that. Uh, just the sound again, sound triggers um, sound triggers emotion. It's, it, it puts you into different places. And, and that, that real dark sound, uh, it's a little dark. And that took me into that take five. Now let me make sure. Um, Yeah, so let me just show you real quick um, about the uh, about the chords, Jim. I get asked this question. Um, I get asked this question quite a bit, so I'm going to float my window over. I use OBS uh, Studio for um, for streaming, and what that allows me to do is create uh, windows. And an application that I use a lot is called Mediculous, and Mediculous is a great. Um, um, a great application that uh, allows you to uh, to show show your chords. See, I've got a keyboard view here, a staff view, and then I've got uh, the chords and the keys in a separate window. And I can actually float these, and I've got them assigned to a source in OBS. So look, so that's what that's what the keyboard looks like. And now I've just clicked this, and it overlays. See, my hand just appears under that, but yet you can see the chords. And the same goes for the keys. Um, I just float that window and there you can see in all the glory. And so I can just uh, turn that back on and float those windows. So it just, it makes it uh, so cool. Um, gospel musicians, and there's a link in the description. Uh, make sure you check that out uh, because it's such a powerful, um, powerful tool. There's also MIDI lessons, uh, what's called, um, it, that you can load into Mediculous that have video and MIDI and that type of thing. It's a great learning tool, um, great learning tool. Okay, so let's just dive in some more, um, just spend a little more time with this. And, and you know, if you've got any questions uh, while we're still live, just jump in the chat. And if you're watching the replay, um, make sure that you uh, leave a comment below. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah.
just so beautiful. So many things you can do with this. Um, and let's see. We got the ambient. Did we do the ambient? Let's do soft drama. And this is a blend of um, real soft blend of the binaural and the condenser and the ribbon. So, man. And again, I. Like to turn down those hammers. Um. <laughs> yeah. lot of fun yeah you know a group lesson a group lesson sounds interesting and you know I'd, I'd like to get in on that and that's one of the things that I'm thinking about doing uh, if you know we're gonna possibly be introducing memberships a little a little bit uh, down the road and uh, doing a discord uh, server where we can do some uh, more interaction direct interaction like this where we can kind of play through and kind of kind of discuss that type of thing so so stay tuned for that uh, stay tuned for that man so it's always a joy um, it's always a joy to be with all of you and I just cannot um, I cannot wait to see you next time and I might have my uh, trash compactor put together um, by the time I see you next time I don't know See, the thing is, it's just real close. Let's put some reverb on there. to seeing you again really soon on another fun adventure. I don't call these reviews. These are adventures because I love taking these journeys with you, discovering new instruments, new experiences, strange new instruments. Um, man, I just want to... Getting lost again, but uh, I look forward to seeing you again real soon on the next live stream.
Again, we are searching always for that joyful sound. Look forward to seeing you again. Tell them, tell them Simeon sent you, okay? <laughs>